Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? I hope you had a great 2018 and uh, I hope you have achieved all your aviation goals for the year 2018. Today I wanted to make a quick video about the Garmin D2 Delta Watch software version 4.5. Um, previously I made a couple of videos and I expressed my displeasure with regards to the altimeter accuracy, especially uh, with the flying activities. Um, so one of my videos was actually trying to figure out the best setting for the altimeter uh, when it comes to recording. Since then Garmin has uh, updated uh, firmware for the D2 Delta watch a couple of times. Uh, when I made my, vi my previous video uh, it was running 3.0. So uh, after a while I had a chance to fly the uh, fly yesterday and I flew for a good an hour and a half around the Atlanta area and uh, recorded my track on the D2 Delta watch. Before we get into the results uh, of my flight yesterday, I just wanted to let you know about the couple of things. Um, as I indicated earlier, uh, I am running firmware version 4.5 and also uh, when you look at the settings, my altimeter was set to uh, receive data from the barometric pressure data and the auto calibration for the elevation was set to off so meaning that it is not calibrating continuously through the activity all right let's get into the results so this was my flight yesterday take a look at my uh, the elevation profiles here so you can see that uh, when I overlay the ground speed over the altitude, the lag seemed to be minimal compared to what I saw uh, with the previous software versions of the D2 Delta Watch. Previously, the lag was significant. Now you can see that I'm taking off around 977 feet. The airport elevation is roughly 1000 feet. And you can see that the, the elevation catches relatively quickly this time. I try to stay around, uh, you know, 2700, 28 something like that so it seems to be more or less consistent i did see a little bit of lag but not a whole lot but not at least not as much as it was with the previous versions so it definitely looks a lot better uh, compared to the previous versions we finished that big loop and we came back into land you can actually see that uh, it kind of matches with my ground speed probably there's a little bit of lag right there so uh, about 300 feet or something like that but it catches up fairly quickly so previously that lag was close to 500 feet and it took for a long time to uh, catch on so you can see that uh, i have done uh, several touch and goes the altitude versus ground speed seem to be uh, pretty much in sync in here so after the last touch and go we made the full stop landing there was a little bit of lag but again it seems to have catch caught up quite a bit yeah there you go the firmware version 4.5 of the d2 delta watch uh, seemed to do a lot better compared to the previous versions so remember that my uh, auto calibration was off during the flight but the barometric pressure did not change a whole lot it pretty much stayed the same throughout that might have helped a little bit with the calibration or whatnot but either ways the result seems to be uh, much better compared to what i had seen earlier all right so please let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, please remember that i'm doing this as a hobby so i'm just sharing my experience all right uh, thanks so much and happy new year uh, and uh, i would uh, look forward to forward to seeing you next year thank you take care